Yo, what's up? Just got into Charlotte International Airport. We're leaving from here and flying to Vegas for the DJ MTV slash Photo Booth Expo convention. Main reason I'm heading over there is I'm going to be speaking on communicating with today's couples on Wednesday on the main stage. I'm also really excited to meet a lot of you guys that are probably going to be out there as well as some of my close friends on YouTube as well as John Simmons. If you guys don't know who that is, that is DJ Woopig. I'm super excited to actually meet him in person for once. We talk all the time on the phone. But yeah, I got about 20 minutes until we board that flight to head on off to Vegas and I will catch up with you guys when we get there. Well, made it to Vegas, currently waiting on a good old buddy that just happened to land at the same time he was flying in from Miami. We're gonna go see uh, what's popping. It's Vegas, it's only, what, midnight? It's only 11.30 here in uh, Vegas, so we'll go see what's popping. Ladies and gentlemen, three strikes in a row, and Rick will beat me. Because it'll be 30 points, so it'll be 133 and 132. Three strikes in a row. Will Rick do it? Ain't no problem, ain't no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rick, the two-hand bowler. Two-hand bowling, is he going to get it? Good morning, people. Welcome to day one in Vegas. Well, I guess last night was day one, but anyways, it's Monday, first day of the conference. It is like 9.30 in the morning, heading downstairs to get some breakfast. They gotta figure out the credential situation, so I'm um, gonna take you guys along, and we're gonna have a fun day. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, hey. What's up, we got Kevin. What's up? Yeah. People don't know me, I'm Kevin Garrity from Clock Entertainment. Uh, that's all you need to know. I got my past dog. I got my past dog. Daddy, chill. So that was the DJ room. That DJ room is for Monday and Tuesday. I'm trying to figure out where this main stage is. So that's like the DJ stage. I'm speaking on whatever the main stage is on Wednesday. So I gotta figure that out. So I'm kind of exploring. This place has a full on arena apparently. I, I really don't know where we're going or what we're looking for. So over here is exhibit hall A and B. I'm assuming that's where the actual halls are gonna be. And then also where the main stage is gonna be. But for the most part, I really don't know what's going on. To be honest, I'm just kind of wandering around. So I'm gonna head on back up to the Brunswick room. That's where the DJ stuff is going on. Does everyone know John Young? John Young is He just soaks in that attention, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but they're not getting any, any money out of pocket by having travel. Well, what we probably mention is no in, Inside of there, at that ginormous stage, is where I get to speak on Wednesday. Not in the small little tiny room we're at for the DJs. Um, I get to speak there on Wednesday at 11 o'clock in the morning. You guys know who that is? Hey guys. You it's guys, DJ Whoopi. Yeah, remember he like did a big giveaway when he hit, a, what was it, 10,000 subscribers or something? Something like that. Yeah, and then he like stopped posting videos hey, completely. Hey, very soon you'll see more on my channel. I don't, I don't want to take away from his video, but. This is John Simmons, you guys, DJ I'm, ta I'm changing. I'm changing my channel name back. Oh, it's gonna be DJ Whoopi again? Yes, I, I think like Branding. people, I think people don't, people people don't, don't know who I am. No. They know DJ Whoopi, so I, DJ I'm, I'm switching it back. Anyway, uh, continue with the video. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely nervous. I was nervous going into this and now seeing that. Actually, I'm gonna be honest, I think it being a bigger room, I'm gonna be less nervous because it's just like a ton of people and I don't have to focus on anything. I just can, just can kind of speak and talk, but we will see. Anyways, it's very, very nerve-wracking. This dude gets to speak on a small stage. Hey, small stage coming soon. Uh, just like Rick Webb, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm Have not you a, spoken of anything before? Like small stuff, but we're talking like chamber commerce stuff. Yeah, not, not, not to a bunch of no, other DJs. not to a bunch of other DJs. I've, and, I've spoken, I've gave presentations in college right. to like my engineering peers right. and stuff, but I've never actually and, spoke in front of a bunch and that's, of other people in that's our That's one of these things that I like, I kind of dig, because like John Young did a good job of getting a lot of people that don't speak professionally. So uh, you get like raw and honest, uh, raw and honest stuff, it's not a bunch of 
BS now, we may not be very good at it. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we're, we're not in it to sell anything. Um, That's the one part that I like about at least the majority of the people that I saw in the lineup. None of these people were like, I'm going to be speaking today and selling you guys on this service. Right. At the end of my presentation. Buy my content. Right. At, at the end, end of this presentation. At the end buy. of my presentation, I will be, uh, I'll have a coupon code for DJ Life merch. Just keep an eye. <laughs> On a side note, on the DJ Life merch, I've been getting a lot of questions on when we're dropping new uh, new shirts and stuff like that. The summer drop, it's gonna be sometime in the summer is when the next drop's gonna be. Um, I gotta get through the hell of beginning of wedding season and getting that ball rolling first. Well, I'm not really sure where we left off last or what has happened so far, but it has been, um pretty random to say the least. As always with these conferences and conventions, it's mostly a lot of networking. It's a lot of talking to people outside of the thing. That's where mo I'm spending most of my time, just literally talking to people, learning about other people's business, um, asking them questions, just networking and getting some insight from what other people are doing in the industry. Then other than that, I've spent the last couple hours up here in the hotel room knocking out some emails and HoneyBook and getting some tasks done and then uh, also looking over my presentation for Wednesday uh, once more. Now I'm about to head back down and see what's popping, what's going on, and we'll see where the night goes. <laughs> It's a joke. Four it's times in a row I did that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So today um, is day two, obviously. I'm going to kind of today focus on kind of showing you guys how this is all laid out. It's very sporadic, but they actually have these arrows everywhere showing you where everything is. So we've seen the DJ MTV convention room. We've seen the big convention room. All, both of those are in a different spot. And then there's a third room, which is the chill room, which is where I'm heading to right now. DJ Wu Pig or John Simmons is up there right now. Also the exhibit floor is up here as well. From what people have told me, the photo booth exhibit floor is massive like twice the size of what any of the DJ convention show floors are. So, very excited to see that. That doesn't open until tomorrow, I believe. That was the chill room upstairs. Been up there for a little while now, just chilling, obviously. And now heading over to where the seminars are going to be for the DJ inside. John's gonna be speaking, uh, John Simmons is gonna be speaking here soon, followed by Nick's gonna be after him. Then after that is Brian, so. I do want to thank you for having me out. Uh, some of you guys may be wondering, where is uh, my black guy voice? It's okay, it's here in my pocket. I'll pull it back out later when I talk to you, but yes, the country accent is uh, 100%. Crushed it, crushed it. My mouth is super dry. Backed <laughs> out. So if you guys saw right there, that was uh, John's seminar. Killed it, John. John, you killed it. That was an amazing seminar. Nick's setting up, well actually Nick's back there, but he's next on the seminar. Um, it's very sporadic here at the show. Like people are in or out, in and out, but the speakers are great. You're 100% open and you can use your personal profile Nick, to Nick, also Nick, you fail. help supplement you fail. Or, don't call me. Phone number right here. Don't yeah. call him. Don't call yeah, him that phone number. This floor just opened. They open at five o'clock. Supposedly this show floor is massive from what people say, but we've seen DJ floors, so we'll see. At face value, this room is about the size of Expo. Definitely looks longer, but it doesn't look as wide as what Expo is. Expo is more of like a big square. This looks like a big rectangle. The one nice part is that it's really quiet, like really quiet here. It's nice to actually have a quiet show floor to go walk around in. We got uh, Jay Maz over here to my left. They are very famous for their battery powered mover, which is right, right here. Battery powered, no power. Mover, battery powered, craziness. Look at what this. is this? How do these all exist and make money? Like, all right. The reason why all of these people are here. Um, it's because I don't know. I don't know how there's so many photo booth vendors. I, I, I own a photo booth. I own a mirror photo booth. Um, I knew exactly what I want. I went to that vendor. There wasn't that many out there. So I thought, you know, maybe one or two people have these. But I didn't know there were so many photo booth vendors out there. 
Oh, so you guys do the light part. You guys do that part too, or the light? How quickly at a wedding would that stick get broken? How quickly? Insanely quick. Hold up, hold up. Look at, look at this. They officially have robots. Photo booths. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know anything about photo booths. Like, I don't. Okay, these are dope. All right, I want to give you guys some context. This is all crazy and new to me. I don't deal with photo booths. I've never looked for a photo booth. I've never wanted to buy a photo booth. Well, I take that back. There's one company I'm looking at, but for the most part, this is all new to me. And there is some crazy stuff. There's robot photo booths. There's these big arrays of DSRs and stuff like that. This is insane. I did not know this industry was this crazy and this insane. Me personally, I don't want to deal with a photo booth, so I actually contract my photo booth out through another company, and that's how I offer photo booths in Fusion Sound Lighting. But this is insane. Like the amount of photo booths here and how expensive they are. That super tall mirror one is 10 grand. The array, like of all the DSLRs without the cameras is 11 grand. Like for real, those spin cams, those are not for weddings. That would break so quick. Shirt sure, still catching eyes, guys. I actually still have, as of the time of filming this video, we still have a decent amount of stock on the I Hate Teardown. I believe we have uh, smalls, mediums, larges, and extra larges, and two X's right now in stock. So, so for any of you guys that do not know, this is actually this seminar right here, the Photo Booth Expo. Next year is merged with Mobile Beat Las Vegas. So both seminars are gonna be in this exact same space. This photo booth side to this is insane. The photo booth side alone is a little over 4,000 people in attendance. That exhibitor floor is gonna be both for the photo booth and the DJ vendors next year. Then also down here is where they're doing the, like, the seminar speaking and they have a thousand person room set up for the photo booth side and apparently they've been saying next year they're also gonna have a thousand person seater room for the DJ side as well. Good morning, good morning everyone. Today is the day, it's the day I get to present. I actually get to present in less than an hour. Woo-wee! I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is nerve wracking. Let's go see how many people are at the seminar. Maybe it'll make me even more nervous. Down we go, wish me luck. I got some caffeine, it's not bang, I'm not really happy about it, but I got some rock stars, like, it's close to a bang. How long would it take you? Like, maybe what would you even pay if you were like? Yo, so, obviously, went, changed. Seminar uh, went pretty good. I think it went really well. I had a great time presenting. I didn't have as much nerves on stage as what I thought I would have. I was nervous as heck walking up to the stage. But um, the beauty of the big stage like that is the lights that are shining on the stage pretty much blur out the whole entire audience. So you're just up there kind of having a conversation with yourself kind of like I am right now with the camera, which is was perfectly natural to me. Although the weird part of speaking, is unlike uh, speaking in front of uh, a crowd for DJing, you have absolutely zero feedback. Like the audience feedback is like little to none. Anyways, spoke from a big crowd, I had a blast, I had fun, and um, I actually had uh, John, Mr. Woo Pig over here, recorded my whole entire thing, so I'm not sure how much of it I'll show in here, but if you guys are interested, hit me up. I have the whole entire seminar I did on there so yeah anyways this was both me and rick webb's uh, first time speaking we got Absolutely. we got really good feedback rick did really well he um, killed it too but, like, eh, he got the i mean but here's the thing he between was the, you me and nick we've all been said that we were the best speakers here and we're all like the youngest guys here youngest people here least polished speakers um, least experience. Least experience. But yeah, Rick did. Rick did good. I, I like. I took some screenshots of the of the slides he was putting up because if you're not learning, if you're not growing, you're out of business. Absolutely. You can rent it. We had an amazing uh, lunch out at Tacos El Gordo. 
Me, Bar, and Mojo went there last year, and let me tell you, it is a spot you need to hit up for some authentic Mexican tacos. So good, so good. Anyways, Nate Nelson speaking right now. We're gonna go see Nate, and then uh, Jason Clocks right after that. So we're gonna go see what's popping, and then that's the last seminar of the day. Then we got a party tonight here at the South Point. Uh, Nick Spinelli, Jordan Marshall, Nate Nelson, Michael Joseph, Big yeah, Daddy. Big Daddy. Yeah, it should be fun to see how that goes. I plan on getting moderately wasted, so it should be fun. And then I fly out at 7 a.m. Vegas time tomorrow, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much sleep. We'll be sleeping more on the flight. Doing well, they're gonna call you later. They're gonna get your information. They're gonna try to connect with you. They don't have to know you do. Live the life of life that I would like to live. So, with that being said, we're going to begin with the journey. I'm going to go, well first I want to say, I've actually enjoyed even just this. And that right there, Jason and Nate wrapped up the last bit of seminars for this show. Anything that's left right now is pretty much just going to hang out this evening. And then we have the ending party from 8 to midnight tonight. And then we'll probably go out after that and then I got to fly out at 7. That's how my end of Vegas trip is going to come to an end very quickly. It's been an amazing trip so far and I'm excited to finish it out on a bank. As an update here though, heading back to the room because I need to upload a video for you guys. And I need to jump on a quick meeting call with a new lead. So that's what's going down this evening. This is uh, the showroom. It's not a club, it's a showroom. This is where we're gonna have the after party. Should be interesting. Do I need to, do I need to take my hair? Oh, my hair's, my hair's already out, dude. I'll take the Rolex off. Let's go. I've been using Windows PC too, Nick. I, I use a Windows PC. It's great. Oh, you, 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 Why, Rick? Are, are we going to really get because we have Windows off PC? Tonight? I'm just asking. Are we going to get really ticky off? Oh my God! Use virtual too. Are we really going to get ticky? And I battle with it. So you battle with virtual? Yeah. I've been at for 32 years. So you're a little thing. It's called DJ Battles 101. What can you do more? I'm, I'm honestly just asking. Database customization, uh, multiple what customization? multiple sound cards. Why would you need multiple sound cards? This is like reality TV for DJs over here. Anything you can say, <laughs> I can set that up to do. That is pretty crazy. And it's just endless what you can do with it. That's all. Wait, what was that? What? No, fuck you, Rick. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Rick's channel. I stole his camera. He's still talking to somebody right now. He didn't even know I stole his camera. I took it right underneath him. Anyway, um, uh, make sure you follow youtube.com slash... Yes, everyone, that's it. That's it for Vegas this round. It is time to head on over to the airport and uh, get on back to North Carolina and get on back to rocking the business.